Most people just call him Prism Break. But I like to call him by his full name. Prism Break the Bank. Welcome to another episode of Figure Focus, where I, SCL Matt, focus on the figures of one character in the Skylanders franchise. This week, Prism Break. Prism Break doesn't have a lot of figures, but unfortunately, if you want a variant of Prism Break, get ready to empty your wallet. Let's start at the beginning, where all figures start. Series 1 Prism Break was introduced to us in Spyro's Adventure, but it wasn't until Giants that he got his big break. In Skylanders Giants, Prism Break got his Series 2 figure and a Light Core figure, but they didn't stop there. They really liked this Light Core figure, so they made a variant. This was a chase variant that we call White Flocked Prism Break, or more technically, White Flocked Light Core Prism Break. If that's where it stopped, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but they went one step further. They created a second variant. This gold plated, partially flocked Light Core Prism Break is more commonly referred to as Employee Edition Prism Break. This will be fun to discuss later, but let's finish out the list. After Giants, Prism Break just got one last figure. This was his Series 3, or Hyper Beam Prism Break, that was released with Skylander Swap Force. After that, Prism Break was never seen again. With that being said, let's dive into the rarity check and see just how hard these figures are to find. Series 1 Prism Break is one of his more common figures, but on the secondary market, it's getting a bit harder to find him completely intact. More and more, I've been seeing Series 1 Prism Break with a left arm that's been disconnected or missing altogether. Thankfully, the separation tends to occur right at the joint, so it can be easily repaired if you choose to do so, but it's still something to be aware of while you're shopping around. Series 2 Prism Break, I feel, is the hardest standard Prism Break figure to find. Not impossible, but slightly more difficult than the others. On the other hand, Light Core Prism Break is on the other end of the spectrum. It is by far the most common Prism Break figure you'll find. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a great figure, and I love how the crystals light up, but you'll see this figure everywhere. Series 3 Prism Break is also slightly harder to find, but shouldn't cause too much trouble in your hunt. After that, we just have the two variants. It's a shame that Prism Break's only two variants are chase variants, and one of them was an employee edition. I would have liked to see more from Prism Break. Maybe something in the vein of Granite Crusher would have been nice, but it is what it is. The first variant we found was White Flocked Light Core Prism Break. Sometimes this figure is referred to more simply as White Flocked Prism Break, or even just Flocked Prism Break. Back in the day, I even heard some more creative names like snowy prism break but nowadays most collectors have settled on white flocked prism break while light core prism break showed up all over the place the white flocked variant was not so easy to find there were a lot of variants made during the giants era and even a lot of chase variants but much like this one they were not easy to find like i said earlier if they had stopped there this would be a fairly typical story a few standard figures a light core figure and a rare chase variant but we still have one last figure to discuss. That is the Employee Edition. This is the first Employee Edition figure released to my knowledge, and to this day, it's still one of the hardest to find. We don't know exactly how many of these were created or exactly how they were distributed. I've heard rumors of just the core Skylander staff, to anyone that touched the Skylanders game, to anyone that worked at Activision. Each of these scenarios will give us a very different number. Regardless, in the grand scheme of things, there's a small number of employee edition figures that exist, and many of them are likely still in the hands of employees. So if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one, don't let go. That's all I have for this week on Figure Focus. I'll see you next week.